Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein in the Road to 100, where today in the dried up trenches, this is going to be uh, pretty unfair. <laughs> Um, but, uh, so we are going to make use of our new friend, the bayonet glitch, um, with the supernatural blood glitch and fill of thirst, uh, as well as, um, boosting up our status debuffs here, as well as having i efficiency along for the ride, um, and having radiant barrels. So this is going to be a an extra 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 potent lovely uh vendetta here that we are going to be uh putting out on our friends here because we will always have um access to our um uh, our icor or our health either one that we choose so as we go along here uh this guy usually comes up here and so uh now we can just do this and put him in the ground, I guess, and just kill him and get huge amounts of I-Core back. And uh, this guy, we can be Spider-Man and pull him down from the um, from the top there, which is awesome. And then around the corner here, we can go for um, I-Core and then we can shoot this guy and completely just ruin him uh, completely 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 um, so very 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 cheaty here uh, but that's okay and this guy again we can spider-man him down and we can pull him uh, at any distance that this thing can shoot which this thing has an insane insane distance that it can shoot um, and we can pull this guy over and just kill him and because uh, this is just going to wreck pretty much everything in the game here. Um, I mean, that's 9,000, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's get our um, this going. And let's... Oh, okay, he's running sideways, so that's not good. Oh. Okay, one hit and we're dead. Um, I don't know why we weren't connecting there. He just... Uh, has some relationship issues so uh, we will remedy that next time we come over but uh, this is such a very different interesting um, development here that uh, I am not going to spend you know insane amounts of time on this but I will definitely be working it into uh, most of our builds here along the way and uh, it's going to be um, extra extra fun here as we go along as you can see um, we can uh, make these guys do things that they never normally would be uh, able to do we can put them in places we can glitch them places uh, we can you know do weird uh, pulls like this um, at uh, distance and stuff uh, very very um, odd very strange and with our blood veil here we are absolutely able to um, get back i as well as uh, do massive, massive damage here along the way. As you can see, um, it's kind of a uh, simple one-shot here. No questions asked, no problems at all, uh, pretty much at any distance here. Um, and uh, let's try uh, this guy. Nope. Okay. There we go. We got it that time. So we had enough distance between us that we could actually uh, go for this guy. And let's just parry our way to victory here. And uh, let's see. This thing down here. Uh, let's see. Yep. It uh, moved back as if it was hit. Now let's see if we can pull guys up. Um... Let's see if we can actually get this guy locked. Uh, I don't know if we can. Um, uh, no, it doesn't look like we can get him locked, but that's okay. Um, no, no real problem there. Um, it's just, you know, 
Okay. And it doesn't matter because we have Field of Thirst with Supernatural Blood. So we have the ability here to um, pretty much do whatever we want in terms of i with no restrictions at all. Which is pretty crazy. Okay, so he's poisoned. That's great. We'll just kill him. This guy's going to run over. But he doesn't know that he's just going to get parried, parry bayoneted. Bayonet parried. Um into the ground uh and we can j then run up here and we can get this guy with uh this get all of our i core back and use radiant barrel for free now this guy uh let's see if we can pull him across ledges okay okay he just he just doesn't care hmm interesting that is very interesting that he just doesn't care and let's see about uh this guy uh let's pull him over here yep you can literally zip him uh teleport enemies from one place to another very impressive okay so let's get supernatural blood going let's get this going who cares about icor anymore because uh we can just do this Oh, we accidentally caught this guy. That was different. And let's see about another charge attack. Okay, and that just kills him. This is great for, uh, not that guy. Well, this guy we can just poison and kill. But then we've got, oh, this guy up here. Perfect. And then we have, uh, this fella over here, who we hate. Okay, and we can just kill him. Even better. Even better. So this place uh, literally just falls apart very, very, very quickly. Uh, just because of the fact that we have this crazy ability here. Okay. We can get our all our Icor back here. Okay. Excellent. And when we come up against some difficult enemies here, like this guy, we can just blast him, and for big, big, big damage, and let's see about this guy, can I lock onto him, uh, no I can't, but I can lock him from here, and he's down there somewhere in the wall, which is awesome, okay, and these things we can kill just normally, because, because we can, There he is. Okay. Wow. This is definitely changing my uh, thought processes here. Um, I kind of kind of am stopped in my tracks here a little bit. Um, just because uh, this is so different um, than what uh, I'm typically used to for these uh, kinds of setups and everything. But it's pretty awesome. Let's see if we can get this guy locked. Okay. There we go. And so we can just pull him down here whenever we want. And then push him off another ledge. So pretty awesome here that we can do that. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So this guy, let's shoot him here real quick. And then let's do this. It's for iframes. And that will give us that kill. Okay. Very good. Let's get uh, some poison out here maybe. Oops. Yeah, we are stagger, uh, stagger kings here. That we can't... Um, actually stay uh, afloat here very long. Okay. And we'll just take the parry at a distance 
every single time. So it's a backstab at a distance is what that is. It's not a parry, it's a backstab. So it, it doesn't apply to like parry things like diff parry or uh, those kinds of uh, business items. It only applies to um, uh, backstab type options. So if we weren't using Avarice, we would have to go for Sharpened Fangs as that would be the thing that would be affected the most. Okay, so let's just get into the fight here. So for this dude, um, typically in phase two, you can't like put him down. Uh, what, what's going on here? But now, uh, with this uh, setup here, uh, in phase two, like in phase one, we can do this like that, and we can put him down uh, uh, very, oh, very interestingly here, and uh, we can get him uh, staggered pretty much whenever we want here, and I, I can't even hit him, and we'll just continue to get him poisoned here. Okay. And Radiant Barrel is exceptional for this fight. Uh, I can't even hit the guy because of the fact that uh, uh, we uh, are doing blood damage here. Okay, we'll go for another Radiant Barrel. can't stagger him out of this animation, I guess. That's fine. Okay, and one more poison, and we will have it. Um, so typically, uh, this is really tough to uh, get this guy to stagger, um, but here, we can just do it over and over, um, and he, he just doesn't have a chance. So that is uh, uh, very awesome. Very, very awesome there. And especially since uh, you can do it at any distance to him. Like, we can back up here. We can go for i -Core. We can go for a shot. And uh, then we can go for some uh, staggers here. And it's kind of not, not really fair. Um... <laughs> and he was poisoned so uh, we were we were able to do some uh, interesting trickery here with how this uh, setup actually operates and what the potential topics for it could potentially be into the future um, now there are some bosses that do some animations that uh, you would very 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 much like to interrupt and this guy in phase two since he can't go down into a hard stagger uh, this is as good as we can do so anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this and we'll uh, keep getting the uh, uh, um, debuffs mixed in here but uh, I do want to continue exploring this with the bloody snow here a little bit because there are very oh so very few blood codes that can use it but some of the ones that can uh, can make huge 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 use out of this um, and we'll even try some uh, with Jack and friends just to understand uh, just how crazy this thing can actually get so uh, thank you all for watching and we'll see you tomorrow for the executioner take care bye